This is what Dwe Pachao Tonduang Mbotongdeng's monastery, uh, the main Damaho, where the monks are eating, where the food is offered every day, and uh, also where we do our evening chanting. Currently, outside the Vasa, evening chanting is only for the one power for the moon days. Yeah. Walking a little bit around uh, the Dhamma Hall, you can see after arms run now the sun is already up quite a bit, which is nice. It's not really cold, maybe 17 degrees, but still pleasant to get a little bit sun warming up after arms round. This is a view inside the Dhamma Hall with the main shrine. This is Lumpur Plien, a statue of Lumpur Plien. Actually, three of them, the center one natural color, two uh, metal color ones on the sides. Lumpur Plien from the Rani Vivek, Lumpur Tongdeng's teacher. Two devotees already there are for offering food. Here's a little spot I really like for walking in the morning. Yeah, one can walk up and down here, a little bit of walking meditation, and at the same time catching the morning sun, warming up a bit, and enjoying the beautiful view from the Dhamma Hall. My spot for walking actually all around the Dhamma Hall is really nice for walking meditation. Here on the other side, these are the tables where supporters bring food to offer to the monks. It's a mixed system, we have both the food from Arms Farm. And then additionally people coming out, offering more food, putting it onto these tables. And from there it is passed into the Dhamma Hall and uh, passed around on little trays. This is basically what we brought back from Arms Round this morning. The monks uh, waiting for the meal time is about half an hour till the meal will start. Half an hour between coming back from Ramsau so and the view inside. Half an hour between coming back from Ramsau and then uh, the meal starting. At the other entrance, the uh, monk's side, no matter, monks can go in. You see, we have already set up our bowls, emptied them and cleaned them a bit after Bindapata, after arms round, and setting up our seats in the Dhamma Hall, getting ready for the main meal. Yeah, here's some facilities for cleaning bowls later. Tables on these sides and mostly used by the monks for organizing the food from arms round, from Bindapata. Look inside, and this is where the senior monks are seated inside the Dhamma Hall. Lumpur Tongdeng isn't here this morning. Another look. This is where Lumpur Tongdeng normally sits right now and is receiving visitors. And next to him is the tip, the chatter, the peak. The spire of the JD, the stupa for Lumpur Plien. I'm not sure whether that's actually the real thing or whether it's a model, but it is uh, the correct size. This size will be put on top of Lumpur Plien stupa to the left of it as a little model uh, once it is finished. It's a bit uh, more modern design, not a very traditional. JD stupa design. Uh, 
by the original size, but I'm not sure whether it's exactly the thing which will go on top. This is the Naga staircase. We have another short video uh, going up the Naga staircase. Just finished. Gold and white scheme with the red tongues. Quite beautifully done. This leads up to Lumpur Plian Stupa, which is under construction. In the Tama Hall, you use a Naga staircase to walk up to Lumpur Plian Stupa. So this is a pathway where I usually do walking meditation, right next to my Kuti. Nice stretch. I uh, can enjoy the sun not too strong here in early January and north of Thailand, near Chiang Mai, at Doi Pajau Tun Luang, Lumpur Tongdang's monastery. This is a little dam, the reservoir, a natural one where the monastery is storing uh, water for usage during the dry time, actually right now. It's the dry season now. Here is the location where they are soon going to build another kuti. The kuti will be erected here in this spot. On the other side is a excavated water reservoir. And the palm trees. That a little bit. Eh? The natural one wasn't enough to supply enough water for the growing monastery, so they have a second one now. And here, no walking back. I enjoy the walking meditation on this pathway up and down between the palm trees, the banana trees. And they have some papaya trees. And right next to this suitable walking meditation path, we have a proper concrete road. It's already my kuti, you can see it on the left side. This is where I'm staying here at Wadtoi Pajaut on Luang. Very uh, happy in there. I'm having a very enjoyable time here at Lumpur Tongdang's monastery. So here we are at the top area of the monastery, and this is the new JD, the new stupa under construction for Lumpur Plian. Lumpur Tongdang is a close disciple. Plian. and uh, he has taken on the responsibility of building the main stupa for Lung Po Plian's relics. You may remember Lung Po Plian was the first Kuba Ajahn to visit Damagibi in March 2007, only days after we had acquired the property. There's already an existing smaller stupa which they have now beautifully renovated. Just finished the renovation and a third we also have here the Oposanta Hall, the, the boat. Um, currently also under renovation but uh, largely finished, a uh, white and golden scheme. For the last light of the day after the sleeping session, 4 to 5, you know, a bit after 5 pm. And you can see the entrance area, of the Naga staircase, the small entrance Naga staircase under construction. And then the beautiful golden decorated 
of, of the Oposleta Hall. Next to it, the existing stupa almost finished now the renovation, and the big stupa for Lungpop Lien still under construction. Prajao Don Luang, big Buddha on the hill. Ah, it's a really big Buddha statue. This is where the name comes from. Wat Doi Prajao Don Luang. This is Prajao Don Luang. Situated the summit of the hill where Wat Doi Prajao Don Luang is located. I believe one reason Lumpur Thundeng started the monastery is also uh, looking after this Buddha statue. He actually has already built this magnificent uh, hall to cover it. Last year when I was here there was no uh, pavilion, no hall around this big Buddha Rupa yet. I can uh, circumambulate. has a big umbrella over its head, but additionally also the new pavilion structure. Prajao Don Luang. This is why the monastery is called like that, because of this big Buddha statue which had been established here for a long time and it was in danger of falling into disuse and being destroyed gradually by the elements. Lumpur has taken on uh, protecting it, renovating it, in particular uh, providing a good shelter for it. Prajao Tunduang is a very big Buddha statue.